Good morning, guys. Let's start off. This is AOL, by the way. Um, let's start off first with Trump meeting with the Saudi prince of oil. Um, they're going to talk about some stuff, um, and they're trying to get back on track. Saudi Arabia right now is in a lot of trouble. They have a huge welfare state, and so um, they're they're cutting back on what they spend around the country. If you know what I mean, the the austerity measures. Um, I I have no doubt they want to see the price of oil go back up a little bit. And uh, but then I also listened to the interview that he had with the uh, journalist, and when they talked about Iran. He said, well, Iran says a lot of stuff, but he says over the last 37 years, we haven't really seen much from them. He said their words don't ever match their actions. He said they, they support terrorism here and there. And of course, he forgot to mention that Saudi Arabia was one of the countries that helped to create ISIS. Go figure. And uh, in other words, all these people have got blood on their hands. They're all dirty. They're all corrupt. And um, and so, uh, would he rather get along with Iran? Sure, Saudi Arabia would always rather get along with her neighbors. All of them would rather get along. However, <clears throat> that's you know, they're they're also, you know, all of them underneath. They all want to take over one another. Um, that's just how Muslims are. They, you know, the the only friend that a Muslim seems to have is someone who says and does exactly as they do. So, anyway, and then moving on to John McCain. He predicts further revelations about Trump's ties to Russia. Now, as I told you this morning about Catherine Austin Fitz and what she had to say is, keep in mind, and, we, and we've known this, but his behavior is so erratic, it's so extreme, that I mean, he's, he's just scared to death. I mean, they got something on him, um, whether it's being a pedophile, uh, uh, money, you name it. There's something, there's something there that they have on him, and he's scared to death of it coming out. So his goal is to get rid of Trump before Trump gets rid of him. And that's the name of the game. Um, and then Trump's meeting with um, the Chinese president, Xi, at Mar-a-Lago and um, you know all these people they would all rather be friends with the US rather than enemies um, China is in huge trouble money wise their economy stinks as do mo as does most of the, the economies around the world so nobody's really into having a major war here it doesn't really benefit anybody except the super wealthy um, and then Ivanka meeting with Cory Booker. Now, he was at her wedding many years ago. And um, Cory Booker is one of those snakes in the grass that, you know, he, he manages to get along with whoever. He has to. Uh, is he to be trusted? No. No, absolutely not. And, you know, but somehow he's managed to worm his way into big society and yes he's a good little puppet but he is not to be trusted at all it man's just a snake um, and hey by the way for those of you who don't know he's a senator from New Jersey so yes you know you know Trump has to get along with all these snakes in the grass or not all of them but some of them at least <clears throat> and he's dealing with a group of people who are corrupt, sick, psychotic, sociopathic. I mean, it's like, how in the world do you get business done with a group like that? I mean, good luck. Um, and then Scott Pruitt being flooded with phone calls after he says he doesn't really believe in climate change. And um, in essence, what he's saying is, I don't believe in global warming, at least not the way you guys put it out there. 
And of course, you know, then Soros and others, they were just like flooding in. Like, how dare you? You know, and uh, keep in mind, global warming is a, a trillion and a half dollar industry worldwide. And so, you know, these people, they're just, you know, it, even for the base, they're so, they've bought into it lock, stock, and barrel. And it's become such a part of their lives that they can't let it go. They've invested so much time and energy, you know, not necessarily money, but they've invested themselves into this belief. You know, it's like people who are so pro-abortion, you know, it's like, kill them, kill, get over, you know, they, it doesn't matter. They, it's, it's like they, they can't let it go. There's just certain things the far left cannot let go because they've invested so much into the, it. It's what they've become all about. Anyway, it's kind of sad that people would invest so much energy into something that is false. Any or not good. Anyway, that's how it is. I will talk to you all soon. God bless you all. Have a good day. Bye-bye.